I know there will be a day, guys, when the final worker does that final brush of paint and says, that's it, guys. The house is done. Hey, guys. Welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, Mabuhai Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Did you miss us? We missed you. Okay, guys. So, haven't vlogged for a whole, almost a whole week. Um, and I have ex some explaining to do. A lot of you guys have been messaging me non-stop over the past few days going, Mikey, where are you? You haven't uploaded a vlog in like five days. What's going on? Are you okay? Is your personal life okay? I'm like, oh my gosh, my heart is so full, guys, that you guys care. And now I know that if ever I were abducted by some aliens, one day, someone would notice. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being so concerned. I'm okay. RJ's okay. Um, we're just here at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse. Um, and I've got some updates for you. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, did you guys finally sleep over at the Mabu High Squad farm? I'll be addressing that later. And also, I'll be showing you guys around later too. Lots of new updates. Hey Sives, are you liking it here at the farm, the farm, the farm? We're here at the farm farm, here at the farm farm, yes. <laughs> All right guys, so before I take you around and show you updates on the house, I, we've got some stuff that we still are unpacking and moving into the house. So uh, the reason I haven't been vlogging over the past few days was because RJ and I have been sick and like still coughing guys. You know, I was like, for sure we have Omicron, this new wave. But I've been testing every single day. RJ has two, for me sometimes twice a day and all negative. So I'm like, what is going on here? Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm grateful that the tests have come out negative. Um, maybe it's just a normal cold, I, or it could be really the dust and the varnish and stuff and chemicals. That's what I originally thought. But um, I don't think it's that because none of the workers uh, are sick. Roman and Ate Elsie who've been hanging out here also with us are not sick. So I think it's maybe the a cold like because I mean in this world the common cold still exists it didn't just disappear because COVID came around um, so yeah anyways RJ and I are feeling much better now um, I've just been sleeping in the green room of our house like throughout the day and guys sleeping at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse is so so good during the day so yeah that's why I haven't been vlogging because one the move has been crazy moving stuff and two I just wanted to focus on getting better so I could give better vlogs to you guys. All right, let's go inside. And guys, stay tuned because I'm gonna tell you about what's been going on like in terms of where we've been sleeping and that kind of thing. I'm so happy to be back. <laughs> mm, okay, let's go. All right guys, so construction has been ongoing outside the home. They are in finishing off installing lights, um, cleaning up the outside, finishing the outside platforming, all of that kind of stuff. We're here inside. This here, guys, is are the do double doors for the roof deck um, from the ant room, which you guys will be seeing later. And guys, the aviary complete with all doors now. Isn't that awesome? It's so sweet, beautiful, beautiful gold handles. Um, it opens like so. It continues to open and like so. See that? Isn't that awesome? Beautiful, and check out the handles. So sweet, love, love, love it. So um, aviary is pretty much done. It's ready for me to decorate. Uh, they still need actually to paint some of this stuff here um, and also grout the bottom, but aviary is pretty much done. And guys, I have uh, a surprise to show you later regarding this aviary. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for that. So guys, this is a room that I haven't shown you guys for, I think, months. This here is the, well, we've been calling it the studio room, but it's really more like a rec room, a recreation room. We plan on putting our home cinema here. There will be like green screen things that we can use for our YouTube videos, dropping from the ceiling somewhere here. Um, but yeah, it's completely tiled, almost. There's still a few tiles left. Completely tiled. Look at the tiles of this room, guys. Check it out, wait. I gotta get in close. Do you guys see it? It's like geometric shapes. Isn't that such a cool tile? Um, so yeah, that, this is pretty much all tiled. Um, they still obviously have to do the ceiling. This here is the recording booth. 
where I plan on recording my voiceovers, France, Canada, any music, parodies, that kind of thing. That goes here. But that will be a project for the future, not a priority yet. So yeah, this is a quite a large room. It's kind of like a second living room area. We plan on putting couches here and that kind of thing. Um, and I think this is the room we'll be doing karaoke, if ever. <laughs> this here is the kitchen, but not much progress here because they've been, they've been prioritizing upstairs where I'll be taking you later on. But I've been asking you guys for your opinions on what color of quartz marble to use for this U-shaped counter. It's totally ready now for um, re refinishing or refining. And in the future, you guys will see which one we chose. So here in the green room again, where we've been keeping all of our cold loving animals. So here in the green room again, um, and I just wanted to show you this. This here has kind of been our like kitchen station. So we've got our microwave for heating up food. We got our ice box for cold um, storage. Got my coffee, all, see my oatmeal, healthy breakfast, um, first aid kit and my health stuff, vitamins, all of that. This is all here, guys. And it's been really awesome. Sorry, I, I need to organize. I'm an organizational freak. Yes. But yeah, this table here has been really convenient. We have two air purifiers running in this room to keep everything clean. There's my workstation. I've actually edited and uploaded last week's video here at the Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse, which was so awesome. I'm gonna be editing again for this week's video um, here. All right, guys, coffee. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking, okay, did you sleep over here at the Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse yet? And so Mabuhay Squad, going to address that now. Um, I've been sleeping a lot in this room during the day. Um, just trying to get better focus on like getting rest um, but in terms of sleeping overnight we still have been sleeping at Torres Farm and Resort just nearby here at night um, we just didn't feel like the house was completely ready yet to sleep over even though it kind of is but I mean we're, we want to take our time right the house isn't going anywhere um, but we have been spending 90% of our waking hours here at the Mabuhay Spot Farmhouse overseeing the construction, um, really rushing them to finish the priority areas. And I'll be showing you why we haven't moved in yet. Uh, there have been some unexpected issues out there um, that popped up. And I guess, I don't know, this is all part of the building your own house journey, which is um, very different from just like buying an already built house. Um, but yeah, I'll be showing you guys around out there in a bit. But we will be sleeping over here at the house very soon. I mean, guys, we practically live here already. We just aren't sleeping over at night here. But guys, Cypher here is so lucky. He um, is the only dog who's been enjoying. We've been taking him along um, over the past couple of days to just hang out with us here at the Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse. Do you like it here? As you can see, he's settled in quite nicely. Um, and he is currently using that puppy pad. Cypher is really good at using puppy pads. You are so housebroken and I'm very proud of you. We chose to bring Cypher because of the four dogs. Cypher is the most frail. And turns out, literally just yesterday, Brittany, our uh, hairless Mexican uh, dog, jumped on him on the bed, and I think it like aggravated his hairline fracture. Remember when he was a puppy? We discovered through x-rays that he had a hairline fracture and he kept limping. Well, turns out, I think Brittany literally just opened the fracture or I don't know what. We took him to the vet yesterday and they x-rayed him and she said that they see the hairline fracture, but they couldn't tell us if it was healed or not. So she gave us uh, pain meds to give to him, which we haven't yet because he hasn't shown signs of pain, and a bone supplement. So we've just been giving him the bone supplement over the past couple of days. Poor Cypher. Um, and so we decided, yeah, let's take him with us so that the other dogs don't chastise him. Poor Cypher, you were so good for like a year or two years. I think he'll be better off here at the farm because he can lay out in the sunlight, strengthen those bones, right? 
Cypher, poor Cypher. That being said, guys, though Cypher is already used to life here at the Mobile High Squad farmhouse, the other dogs are going to experience the farm for the first time later on. They're scheduled to come here uh, later this afternoon, and I can't wait to film the reaction. Is he limping still? Okay, he's doing okay so far. He likes to go here, looks out the window. He loves it here. Sykes, this is our house, yes. This is our new house. There, see, he likes looking out the window. <laughs> it's our new house, go pee. Wanna pee? Go pee. Go. Oh. See, there, he's limping. Every now and then, he needs to strengthen. And again, we don't know if the hairline fracture reopened or if this is just some kind of like, it's sore. But he doesn't seem like he's in pain, which is good. All right guys, so while the workers are on break, I wanna take you to the master bedroom and show you guys around. So, our front doors are done. Um, on both sides, it's the design of an egg. Pretty cool, right? So much bird imagery, guys. And if you're new to these vlogs, this entire house is bird-centric, literally. This aviary was supposed to be for our late African gray parrot. Um, who was supposed to live here with us, guys? She was two and a half years old and then she passed away during the pandemic due to a, it's like a digestive nervous disease. It was really sad, but um, this aviary was supposed to be for her um, and we buried her in the back. So this aviary now will be for some birds which are actually coming um, later on in the month. But yeah, so there is a lot of bird imagery in our home, surprisingly. Um, look, and even our tiles are gray. A lot of the stuff in our home is gray and other colors that, you know, are associated with the body of an African gray, like charcoal gray right, uh, right there. So this here is our master bedroom, as you can see here. Um, let's start on this side, guys. So this here is our hidden door, which will be which leads us to the closet room area. This is our dresser, right? And then that's the closet room. I'll take you guys there later. Um, this will all have a padding on it. It's being fabricated now. Um, and the padding just will go all the way across, but we painted it black for now to match these pillars. And guys, look at this. Our curtains have arrived. Now they've wrapped them up just to keep them clean. But let me tell you guys, it looks awesome. When that's unwrapped and they're drawn, it really, really feels like a bedroom. And of course, they're gray. <laughs> of course, you guys saw our marble headboard, which I love. Man, choosing this was epic. You need to watch that vlog if you haven't yet. Um, and it lights from the back. And so all of these quartz areas, these quartz inclusions, they light up and it's this beautiful like peach color. It's just so, so, so pretty. Um, but yeah, so they've cleaned up the windows now. Windows are ready to use. Um, again, curtains are all installed. They are also hooked up to our smart system. So these are both sheer and blackout curtains. See, there are actually two kinds of curtains. Uh, blackout just basically means it when it's drawn everything in the room is black like light doesn't pass through it um and yeah so that is a great update yay now here are a few things so we've discovered that this track was installed improperly because the door wouldn't slide completely in so they had to completely rip out this wall um, and redo the track, which took time. Obviously, that was some work that needed to be done that we didn't expect. They also installed LEDs behind these um, frames for the gold windows. When they did that, we saw a ton of imperfections in the smoothing of this wall. Because in case you guys don't know, here in the Philippines, we use concrete walls, guys. It's so hardcore. Like, it's not dry board or, you know, gypsum board, which they use in Canada and US. It's legit by hand smoothed out concrete. I think it's also because it's a tropical country. It's just more sturdy and, you know, termite resistant and that kind of thing. So they had to really smoothen out certain areas again, and this will all have to be painted. So yeah, like the lights installed behind here showed a lot of the imperfections in the smoothing. So they had to redo that. 
Here, of course, is our display case wall. So awesome, I can work on this anytime. This is our pantry, ready to use, but actually, they still need to finish the shelving up here. Not sure when that's gonna be done. And then this here is our jacuzzi, which is completely done. All the housing is finished. They're just covering it to protect it from all the dirt and dust. Guys, these curtains are immaculate. It, I just love the look of it. Let's see if you, like, the fabric is so, so good quality. It's just, ah, oh, beautiful curtains. I'm in love with them. Believe me, when we remove the plastic, you guys will see the curtains match so well. We went with the company that provides curtains for Mani Pacquiao, guys. Because, you know, RJ's extra that way. Here is our hanging uh, seat. See, it's like a hanging chair. You guys have seen this before. I'll put you in there, see? So that we could sit here, look outside. It's a nice view out here of our side lot. Or it could be turned and, you know, we could face this way if we wanted. Um, and in here, guys, I'll show you this. Oh, first of all, I bought an, a legit like stick for my uh, mobile because I'm currently vlogging from my mobile. My vlogging camera broke. Um, this they had to rip out, guys. So our toilet, which was there, they had to remove it because we had discovered that water was pooling here. It wasn't flowing into the drain. So they had to completely rip out the tiles and create um, a proper slope. So yeah, gosh, that was extra work that we needed to have done. We didn't expect that to happen. So guys, as you can see, there is more work to be done. RJ and I are not happy about it, um, obviously. It's very inconvenient for us. We've pushed our move-in date so many times over the past three months. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, what can you do? We're doing our best. This move, guys, has been a bit very stressful, especially for RJ, um, who's the one, you know, coordinating and planning and all of this stuff. All of our stuff is currently in the Mabuhay Spot farmhouse, so we've moved almost pretty much completely here. And we're just ready to, like, move into this room. Once this master bedroom is, like, okay, we'll move into here. In terms of staff house, currently, uh, some teams from Modular are living there. Uh, Koya Roman and Ate Elsie also will be staying there. Um, so, I don't know, we're, we're probably not gonna move there. We're just waiting, really, for the right time to move in and like to literally sleep here overnight. But again, it feels like we live here already because I spend most of my time in the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse. And you know what? I love it. I love it so much. It wasn't what I expected the move to be like. Um, but I mean, this is, again, this is just all part of the process, right? If you want to build your own house and make it perfectly the way you want it, these are some of the problems, I guess, that you have to run into, which is uh, unexpected delays. Still, I am completely grateful to be here. Um, of course, guys, you guys know, it, this is all a dream come true literally a dream come true so i know there will be a day guys when the final worker does that final brush of paint and says that's it guys the house is done once that happens i know that day i'll be popping the champagne but uh but yeah anyways right now guys this is still exciting stuff whatever yes this is gonna be um still a difficult process right all amazing things come with hard work and sacrifice and some suffering. Uh, so yeah, I mean, gotta take it day by day, I guess. And thank you guys for following these vlogs. I will continue to vlog everything um, because in a way I feel like you guys are also moving in with us. So let's look at the ant room now, guys. This here is the ant room, see? And guys, it's got doors. Isn't that cool? So these doors will eventually have glass, so when it closes and we pass by the ant room, you can actually see inside the ant room, um, which I love, because you know our guests will be like, hey, what's this room for? What are all those tanks? Um, so if you're new, this here is the pet room slash ant room, fully tiled, and guys, fully windowed too. 
It is awesome. I have filmed here already in the night, and gosh, the sounds of the crickets, guys, is incredible. See, all windowed in. It's really great. But as you can see, we still have lots of work to do. Ooh, guys, look at our neighbors. I still have to formally introduce myself to our neighbors, but they seem really cool. They're a cool family. They've got a bunch of like Baha'i Kubos here. Oh my gosh, Rizal's here. Hey, Rizalzies. Yes, this is the Mabuhai's Club Farmhouse. Okay, go, go, go. Go in the green room. Go, go, go. Hey, Brittany. Welcome to the Mabuhai Squad Farmhouse. Yes. This here's Brittany. You like this place? This is your home. Come, let's go. I want to show you. I want to show you around. Come. Good girl. So guys, this is our Mexican hairless dog. Let's go. This way. Come. She's new to the farm. This is her first time sniffing around. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Brittany was a little scared, so I'm taking Rizal, who's a little more adventurous. Come on, Rizalzis. I want to show you what's at the side of the house, guys. Let's go. So guys, look at this. See these branches? Remember the day we moved out of Tagaytay and the universe or Tagaytay gave us a going away present. I discovered a bunch of like cut beautiful branches. Well, we went back and we got all of them. We literally had to put them at the back of a truck. So look, some of them are gorgeous. You can't really tell right now because they're like laying on the ground, but they have this beautiful bluish gray. I'm showing Rizal around. Come Rizalzies. Oh, he's pooing. Oh, good. Okay, guys. So the dogs are staying in the staff house area. Um, they're gonna enjoy running around here. Um, and as for Cypher and Sahara, the smaller dogs, they will be upstairs in the room with us. So as you can see, guys, this move has been non-stop problem solving, um, but we can do it. I know we can. And um, there is tons of work still to do in the house. I don't know how many months more it will take to finish the house, but we're up for the challenge. We can do anything we put our minds to, right, Mabuhai Squad? We can. Sahara, do you like it here? This is your first time in a long time, right? Do you like it? Do you like it up here? Huh? <laughs> She's like, where are the other dogs? There you go, Saifs. Set up you a nice, cozy little alcove here. You can soak up some sun through the window. And see, guys, this is why I opted not to have tinted windows. At least he can get some filtered sunlight even though the glass filters out a lot of uv he still can get some uv yes which is good for your bones go relax chill out what a cozy corner Sives, you are so spoiled guys let's make coffee oh my gosh can you guys believe it the day is finally here that we are like legit vlogging a day in the life of the mabu high squad farmhouse ah and making coffee this is a dream we are living in a dream here biodegradable cups guys so now that we're moved into the farm, as promised, I said that RJ and I and my, our whole team at the LC Kui Roman, we're going to learn to be more sustainable, meaning migrating from plastics. Because guys, here in the Philippines, we're really bad with plastics. So paper, we'll be doing a lot more recycling, we'll be doing composting, all that fun stuff. And in case you didn't believe us, look guys, lemongrass spray to disinfect. Mm. You could also use it to like smell better. Um, we've got a ton of awesome uh, organic and eco-friendly products from our good friends at Sonia's Garden, who by the way, Sonia's Garden is like sustainability goals, guys. Um, we plan on having uh, eco-friendly shampoos, soaps in all the guest bathrooms, and we'll use them. Eco-friendly cleaners, we're gonna be mainly vinegar based when we're cleaning um, things like that because all of these chemicals that we use here in the house will seep into the soil we know this um, and make it into our water table and guys we get our water from a well so like it's really important that we um, stay as sustainable as possible here at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse this was a personal dream of mine mm -hmm. See, we have water instead of like water bottles. We're gonna start putting them in here. And we actually have this cool machine that will be installed in a couple places of our home, including the kitchen and our pantry, which it filters water like super well. Um, and we can get it directly from our tap, which is awesome. I can also get boiled water directly 
from the top, which is really great. No cipher, no. That is just the Aspen. Guys, so they, they see the resident street dog. You know that puppy that's been walking around. Cypher is going crazy. Okay, that is gonna be possibly your new brother if, if we decide to adopt it. No being hostile, okay? Okay, okay. Just chill, chill. He's a friendly, friendly dog. Guys, chill. Even Sahara is like, oh. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be this is gonna be quite the transition for all of us. Cypher, he's our friend. He's our friend. Okay? He's our friend. No need to be mean. Okay? He's our friend. So guys, in terms of bathroom, I've just been using the bathrooms that are available here on the second floor. A hairy Asian that needs to use the bathroom. Um <laughs> this here is our guest bathroom. Common bathroom. Um, and as you saw, our master bedroom bathroom is not usable at the moment. We can also use the closet room bathroom, but I like to use this one. Shower is totally working in this uh, bathroom. And it's a little dusty still, but it works. And guys, let me just tell you, I love this toilet. If any of you guys ever get to come to the Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse and use this toilet, it will eat all of your stuff like it's never eaten in its life. Like, one thing I used to have problems with is clogged toilets. This one will not clog. Literally, it is the most powerful jet ever. It's amazing. Yes! Whoa! Whoa! That is crazy! That was the most craziest flush I've ever seen, ever. They still have some grounding work to do over there in the shower. Um, and they're going to be installing an LED light somewhere under there. So there's a little bit of work still, but it's pretty much done. Okay guys, this here is the closet room. Still under construction, as you can see. See that? But it's pretty much ready to use. This here is almost done. It's the center console area. And then this here is the closet room bathroom. Are they doing wiring under there? I think so. But this shower is totally working and I plan on showering later. Um, I love this toilet. It's really cool. Love these lights. Check out these lights, guys. Wait. Oh, by the way, have you seen our, our light pads? It's buttonless pads throughout the entire house. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> There we go. Oh, cool, right? I love these lights. They're super cool. Um, but yeah, I plan to shower here for the very first time. Yes! This is a very beautiful bathroom too. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I'm gonna make sure they put away that cable though when I shower here because I don't wanna be electrified. All right guys, chilling here with Rizal and Brittany in the staff house. They're already using puppy pads and they have all their food here. Okay, chill, relax. It's cozy out here, huh? I get lots of space. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, ah, the beast, the beast is eating me. The beast, ah, two beasts are eating me. No, no. So guys, this is where we've been keeping my gym equipment um, and some of our plants that were given to us by Tita Sonia from Sonia's Garden. We got all kinds of herbs here. There's even Serpentina, um, I think it's this one, um, for if we have diarrhea or something, mint, there's lemongrass, all of that. Staff house, guys. I'm gonna respect the privacy of those who are staying there currently, um, but the rooms have air conditioning. That area we were at is actually like the kitchen area. Um, so it's a really cool place to hang out too. Um, and also some extra rooms if, you know, there aren't enough sleeping quarters here at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse. Guys, I'm loving this view. I'm here now in the aviary. Soon that will be all meshed up at the top there. Um, and I'm looking out at the front door. Such a cool perspective. I'm gonna be spending lots of time in this aviary. Um, of course, when the birds arrive, but even before that, to just kind of like decorate, I guess. Um, this needs to be tiled here. We have a water feature that will be here. We've got drainage on all four corners. And yeah, it's all ready, guys. 
Man, these handles are heavy duty. Gold is everything. Yes. Guys, can you imagine it with me? Like once the aviary is nicely decorated and we have some birds flying around in there, won't that just be like a sight to behold, right? As soon as you walk through the front door, it's like just bam, right there. So I really, really want to decorate it nicely with some beautiful driftwood, some beautiful plants, possibly a tree growing in a pot. Um, and of course the bird cages will be inside. I am still deciding whether or not to keep the bird cages there permanently because I kind of have to see how the birds will behave in this aviary, like how they'll live. Um, and I'll just make choices as we go along. We've made sure to plan it so that in case the birds arrive sooner than expected and there's still like varnishing and stuff to be done, the varnishing will have to be done far away, like not in this house. Uh, all the windows and stuff will just have to keep closed for now um, in case dust, like we don't want dust or any chemicals entering the aviary because birds, um, in case you're new to birds, they have very efficient respiratory systems, more efficient than like humans. Um, and they need this because of flying, right? Can you imagine having to flap your wings to like travel vast distances to go hunt for food every day? So biologically, birds breathe really well. And so anything they absorb through breathing is absorbed faster than say if it were human. Wait guys, you know what I wanna test? I wanna test this double paned glass. So some of the handles are not there yet, so there's still holes. But I wanna test, am I allowed to close this? I wanna see if I could hear that loud drilling through here. Because, you know, birds make noise and we've chosen this glass specifically um, to keep noise out or to at least contain noise. Am I allowed to close this? Let's see. Maybe not. I'm not allowed to close this, I'm not sure. But it seems really quiet. Other than that open mesh, seems pretty quiet. Like noise right now is only coming out of there. Mabuhay squad, I am here with Uwe and Luisa. Hello. Yes, here at Vlad's Fitness Gym. I've been coming here guys for the past two weeks and Uwe has been awesome at training me. Thank you. It's a very good giant. Very uh, good giant. Thank you. We're passionate about working out, guys. There's Luisa's wife. Yay. I hope to keep coming here uh, to work out, but we'll see. Um, because it is about a 30 minute drive. And RJ says expensive gas. <laughs> gas is expensive. All right, anyways, back to the farm, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Salamat. Yes. All right, guys. Home sweet home. Yeah. I've always wanted to do this. Honey, I'm home. Hey, guys. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Hmm? All right, guys. So this vlog has gone on for a long time now. Um, and as usual, I'm super honored to be able to share this very chaotic but amazing and fun part of our lives the moving into this mabuhay squad farmhouse which you guys have followed since the beginning guys so i'm gonna do a little more work for ants canada um and i will just see you guys in the next vlog um here's the thing internet is quite slow here so sorry again for all the days i went without vlogging i'm feeling much much better now um, and I am going to shower for the first time here. <laughs> so guys, if you enjoyed this vlog, be sure to hit the like button and um, it would really help us join the Mabuhai squad. Hit that subscribe button. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Mabuhai squad, sound off in the comments. I love you guys. When I don't vlog, I feel like there's something missing in my life. Tell me if you guys feel the same. I love you guys so much. And it is an honor to be able to share this phase of our life with you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog, okay guys? Bye.